The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi, everyone, Basil Chapman. Yeah, this is the Tiger Technicians Hour on this Thursday, December the 9th. And we're looking at the Dow, uh, down 86 at 35,668. What I, I anticipated was that a Thursday, Wednesday should be a small doji candle, and there should be some weakness on Thursday. I'm not sure yet about the close, but I was expecting we could get a gray peak A today. Gray meaning, <clears throat> excuse me, that although the, the technically is a buy signal, I haven't got anything like a buy mode to say that there should still be higher highs to go to at least four higher peaks. We haven't even made one peak yet. So let's just see what's happening with the fabulous move off the 200 period exponential moving average, uh, going from 34,022 to yesterday's high in the 35,800s. And now what we're looking at is it's helping the weekly chart in that slightly rising up channel to go towards the upper end, upper half of the trading pattern. Now let's just look at this in terms of support. I would say that 35,500 should be very good support for the Dow. I'm not sure what's going to give it a sudden slide at the, uh, between what we've seen so far this morning and this afternoon. I would love to see a pullback that starts to go on uh, some kind of attention uh, tomorrow. So in other words, we close kind of weak today have a weakish open tomorrow and then start another move up so that by Monday we're making new recovery highs in the down the S&P um, and maybe even the queues. We'll see what happens there. Meantime, back at the ranch, we are above the trend line resistance and that says major support is in the 35,330s for the Dow. And I, I'm suggesting to you that the 35,900s will be some kind of a resistance. And if it's not, and we just go right through into the 36,000 area, that's going to be very positive. All right, let's go back to the S&P here. The S&P is down 13 at 46.88. And here again, calling it a gray A. This is the first time that we've got the MACD very close to turning positive. The Dow MACD did turn positive. And this is the first time we can see that there's a little L meaning long, uh, and that's where the nine period move, moving average goes above the 14 period moving average changes from pink back to green. The day's young, this is a daily candle, so we have to wait for the for the close, but it's a good sign so far. And the weekly chart, this is impressive because there is a chance that we will have to call that F slash B in the weekly chart in the Chapman Wave. Those of you who use notation in the Chapman Wave, that you know exactly what I'm talking about, um, because that would indicate that we could have another move towards this up channel trend line, Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Let's just go one step at a time, see how we close the day today. QQQ and the X100 struggling a lot more. Yes, this is head and shoulders pattern. Now you've got a double shoulder pattern. To tell you the truth, I actually think this is absolutely negated at this particular point. It could form a sideways pattern. Um, I, I don't see it breaking 378.90 just yet. Not not when we've had such over over bought conditions in our sentiment indicators like the VIX index. Uh, that of course is based on the New York uh, New York Exchange. Uh, but that doesn't matter. It's the principles the same. And what we're looking at is the Qs has 392 very strong support. But any move that sees a close over two out of three sessions above 401 in the next week and a half would be very, very positive. IWM struggling. So I was asked if I do a little bit of work on the IWM. Yes, uh, mostly because lagging stocks in a sector or lagging sectors within the, the entire market tend to do very badly when the next selling mode uh, unfolds. In other words, you make your most money when you short the weakest stocks, not the strongest stocks. And of course, in my case, I'm always trying to get the exact top, exact bottom. Why? 
because when you manage to do that, it gives you such flexibility on all the vicissitudes of the market after that, that it just makes it worthwhile trying for that. Meantime, back at the ranch, the IWM is way off the 244.46 um, 8th of November all-time high, and that was a peak D. We went right back into the rectangle formation. So I suspect that it's going to lag, but I don't think it's going to break down from here. Uh, I would say that if there was a close, it's at 224.25 right now, down $1.40. If at any point the Russell 2000 IWM ETF closes under 220, closes, can't just get there and then bounce, but closes under that, then the 218, 200 period moving average support absolutely is incredibly important because that would say, uh-oh, that whole sector is fading. Uh, I'll just do this quickly. I, it wasn't a question that anyone in the den asked, but someone asked me um, uh, earlier, could I look at the I, IBB, which is the NASDAQ biotech ETF, trading at 152, down 35 cents. Yeah, this is... This has been since it made that August high of 177.57, all-time high. It's just been making lower lows and lower highs. It makes the dreaded H pattern, it takes out the left side low and zooms to one to one to the downside. It's done that twice. I think it's actually getting close to some kind of at least sideways to slightly higher highs and higher lows attempt. But I think there are just too many stocks within the group that are really... Um, They've taken quite a beating and they're going to take a lot to, to, to move higher. Yesterday I was asked about the BIIB, which is um, Biogen. And I said that um, based it was at about 227, I think, at the time when we were talking about it. I said start a little, start a little a tiny position here. If it moves higher, if it takes out the high, today's high, that was yesterday's high, you could start, add just a little bit more. And low and bold, here it is. It's gone from the 227s to 236.88 high today. But uh, everything I read, and I actually have in the Boston Globe today, they have a whole story on Biogen. Uh, so just technically, during the, the uh, during an experiment, uh, things were not that great. And the question is, how successful is it going to be? But just as a chart pattern, I said, as a chart pattern, I suspect there could be a little bit of a rally, but it doesn't look very good uh, overall uh, because as a, as a biotech, you really need a story and follow through in this monthly chart with those big spikes that pull back within the month from a major high to, a, to almost going back to the lows. Says this is just you got to be really careful about it. So unless you've done your homework and you're seeing something independent of that, uh, I would treat this. I'd raise my stop on Biogen uh, and just say, hey, nice profit. I, no matter what happens, don't take a loss at this particular point. Raise your stop to the point where uh, you have a trading stop on on any starter position and anything else that you've added. Monitor that closely. All right, um, a couple of questions, Gene. I'll do this right now, although I need to go through my other industries. Uh, Gene, uh, I I said this stock. I have two questions. One was the stock called did I write it down? Uh, REXR. I said REXR, and uh, and and Gene. So, they exactly the opposite, like the mirror image. I'll talk about it when I get back to that. That's the five percent of you. That's what Captain Tiger did. So I'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC. Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. Let me just finish up this notation here. A, B, G slash C goes to a D and then spirals to an E. Okay, so let's just do this uh, quickly. Uh, R E X R is real, real T, uh, real something. I'll put real T, but it's not. It's re, uh, Rex Fund. Is that Rex Fund or Rex Fund? Gee, they, it's hard to read. Uh, Industrial Realty Inc. R E X R trading up ten cents today at seventy five sixty three. Uh, yesterday was an all time high, and that all time high was at seventy six thirty four. And uh, it looks absolutely spectacular. But one of the problems I have with a pattern like this is when it's making this beautiful arch formation and it's starting to roll over. This is like, I just think of this as gravity. I mean, there's just no other way you can think of it. Every high starts to arch over and it makes a, just a perfect rounding top. And then you suddenly get the spiral to an upside. So the breakout on the 6th of, uh, December sees uh, it break the arch formation. That's okay, I can do that once. But then it follows through with a big day, the following session, and another one yesterday to the all-time high. And today it's pulling back just a fraction, even though it's up nine cents. So what I look at when I look at this, I often think, okay, either that's going to be the start of a fantastic move to the upside. Look, the MACD just turned up stochastics now at 88% and flat. Either this is a brand new move and you're going to get a whole new series of highs with a base that forms in the 72 to 71 area, or it comes back down immediately. The way this works is that if it's going to fail and create a continuation of the arch formation, in other words, this is just an aberration to the upside, almost like the IWM weekly chart, IWM, which had that sudden spike after going sideways for months up to that peak D at 244.46 on the 8th of November, and then it comes right back. So either this is going to, oh, am I going to remember here, yeah, R-E-X-R, <laughs> R-E-X-R. I wish I could read that, Rex Fun, uh, Rexford. Oh, it's Rexford. Whoops, I wrote the wrong thing. Uh, Rexford Industrial, here we go. Re not, I don't know where I got industrial from. It just, from this distance over here, the screen is quite a bit away. 
Rex, actually. R E X. Correct me. Um, was that who was that? Zip. Who asked me about it? Um, oh, now I put it in capital letters. What a day! Come on. <laughs> Okay, we've got, there it is. Oh, Rexford Realty Inc. I believe it's Rexford Realty Inc. Uh, well, and we're looking at it. Either it's going to, if it's going to come back, it comes back within, what is this today? Today's Thursday. Yeah, it's going to be within, by Tuesday, it's trading at 73.50 or lower. If it holds here, this is a fantastic breakout. Now, the weekly chart, because this, because there was a chance that this was a Chapman Week instant restart, look what happened. That low that was made at 56.79, the week of the 2nd of July, you went lower than that, not you, but uh, REXR, went lower than that on the 8th of the week of the 8th of October to 55.84. Uh, and it's enough lower down a point almost a point that I can't say that that was a Chapman Week instant restart unless I call it. The um, unless I call it the Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart. Okay, let's not get carried away. This is a spectacular move. Is it a brand new A? If that's it, all I can say is if this is a brand new A, just every time, every every drop, just keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. I have to consider this might be a single leg A up in the Chapman Wave that starts to fail. I have to consider it. It, it doesn't look like it right now, but that on balance volume is really overbought in both the daily. And the weekly chart, even the monthly. So, all I, so the question was, where would, would where would I add? In an ideal situation, it's at seventy five sixty two. I say, if you've missed it and you were following, and it just keeps going high, and you thought it was going to pull back, and then suddenly, bam, it goes to the upside. All I can say is, ideally, you want to start your position between seventy. The 73 and 70. That's kind of the area, perfect area to start a new, uh, a brand new position. But if it's going to hold here, and look at this, uh, you've got Toll Brothers, absolutely a fabulous move. It also was about to curve over and it ran to the upside. It's a little different chart pattern. Toll trading up 33 at 72.83, uh, almost. Is that an all time high? I think it is actually. Let me just. Grab the monthly. Oh yeah, absolutely an all-time high. Uh, it's an uh, um, Hovnanian, Hovnanian. So I, I, I'm not putting them all in the same category, but I'm saying this is real estate, and real estate is the one sector because even the rates were rallying before. Look, look at this Hovnanian up 13 at 120.78. Is this an A, B, and this is a leg C, E slash? No, this is a leg C in the daily. Absolutely fabulous move. What's the Biza Homes, BZH? Well, all I can say is I don't know if this is included in the in the stock we were looking at. It seems like it would be uh, in, the, in the sector and the strength. So I'm just going to say I want you to do a little homework on this, and I've just done the homework, and I'm going to say to you REXR, at 75.55, yeah, I can see that if you start in a position here, it has a chance to move 3%, 5%, um, and then I think it starts to pull back. But I think that having your foot in the door in a stock that is so strong uh, gives you a sense of how it's working independently to the stock market. And it's working in the sector correctly. So I'm just going to say, so the question is, where would I enter? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something that I didn't think I would do when I started off. But the homework says, you know what? At 75.56, nibble. Just you're going to get your foot in the door because you just want to get a feel for it, even though I'm thinking that in three weeks' time, this is a stock that could very well be even at the 68 level, 7.10% lower. But to get a real feel, I'm not going to say more than that, nibble. Where's the ideal position to get in? Starting position, well, the problem is that if it does come back to the 72 level, that could be it. It could be now starting its move down. But that monthly chart, everything I'm looking at in the monthly chart, I haven't done, uh, I, I've just done it right now live on air. So I haven't really done full homework on it. But the monthly chart says it's probably in leg C. But leg C can still have a really sharp pullback to the 65s. I'm going to say 
start a position right here at 75.51, but it's a nibble. It's just really, you're getting your foot in the door. If you're going to buy X amount, you're buying like one quarter of what you were going to put in, and maybe even less. Just You want your, just your foot in the door, because if it makes a move by, Tuesday, by Monday, if it actually is touched, it doesn't even have to close, but if it touches 76.40, 76.40, uh, this is just outstanding action, and then I have to consider that uh, it can go it can go into the 77, 78 area. So that's just on the short term. But ideally, I'd wait and let's look at it again if it goes under 70 uh, into the 72 area. That is R E X R I Y T. This is the transportation average. Uh, yes, this is uh, it's struggling to break above the Chapman Way inside track repellent zone. It's at 268. Let's see if we can get to 274, 275 by Tuesday of next week. I'll be back in a moment. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be dfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And let me say thank you to Think or Swim for sponsoring this segment. And what we're looking at, oh, it's starting all over again. Oh, isn't that interesting? So um, light is a question. This light is uh, Lamentum Holdings, Inc., uh, trading at LITE is a symbol, 97 round number right now of 3.59. This has to be a brand new buy. So this is A, B. I love these. As, as many of you know, you know my chart patterns. I do them over and over and over and over. 
Uh, that was it. I'm usually very conservative about that. I, I look for the most hit candles, not one isolated aberration. And it did the falling axe break out. It's in leg C. This is looking actually very strong. It's leg C. Uh, and I suspect, but the MACD is good, but the stochastic is only at 64%. So I think this choppiness that you see is the pattern that we're looking at. I love to look at stocks and say, that what's the character? The character is that it has these stair step moves. And after that big move, it has a, a long period of pulling back. And then, boom, if you're not in it, you, you just don't get that big move because it's almost too, too difficult to, to get it once you see it. So, yes, weekly chart, leg C, brand new leg C, monthly chart, I don't know, because it's start. Okay, it's within the rectangle formation. It says at some point, going into the early part of 2022, there's a good chance that it goes towards the 110, 111 all-time high. It's trading at 96 right now. Um, it, it could go choppy for quite a while, but then it should go, look at this weekly, stair-step move. Bam, 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 higher highs, higher lows, but it, it has a, a good few weeks of digestive sideways action, looking very good. Uh, let's go to Mike in Ormond Beach. Mike, how are you? Uh, Mike there? Yes. Basil. Hi, Mike. Yes. you got a question. Uh, yeah, Basil, I'm looking for um, possibly an area on AT&T where you think it might be a, a, a good area of support? So uh, talking about a good area of support in a stock that's done a one-to-one -to, -one to this downside from uh, almost a 40 high back in uh, the end of 19, uh, sorry, 2019, plummets down to the 26 level, spirals up to 34, and now it's doing almost a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. I spend quite a lot of time going through both uh, AT&T, Verizon, and there was another one as well. And I, my conclusion was that in an area that is so complex in the telecoms, I, I know that there's a, a very, really nice dividend, but I decided that I, for a long time I've said, I don't want stocks that can give you a, a wonderful dividend, but your capital depreciates by 20, 30 percent, or in this case, almost 50 percent, um, I, I have a terrible time. So if you're thinking of it as a dividend stock, I'd say to risk capital gain, a, a capital loss, as opposed to a nice interest gain, I just don't like to do that. I, and so I'm going to do this for you. You asked where the support is. It's at 2289. I would just say this whole area going to the low that was made uh, just seven, six, seven sessions ago at right. 21, uh, 22.22. Let me type that in. Nice number to remember. 22.22. Um, I, I just, I even, you know, I, I haven't done it yet. I keep talking, my, 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 my kids keep uh, nagging me and saying, We've, we, we don't have any of your expensive internet stuff. And I say, well, I have to have security. I, you know, I have Comcast and I have Verizon. I, I, you know, I can rely on them. And they say, well, we rely on ours and we're paying like a third of what you're paying. Um, and they're insisting, in fact, <laughs> they wanted to see my bill the other day. And I said, okay, but, you know, I'm overpaying, I know, but I have that security because it's part of business as well. And they say, we, we have the same reliability and we pay. In fact, one of the, my daughter has something that uses a, a Verizon and they pay, she pays, uh, you know, very, very little to what I pay. Um, so I think that a lot of you know, consumer reports for two years now has been had this cutting the cord. They have these articles. So I think that this is an area that is fraught with sudden disruption. So I, I, I have a terrible time thinking of it because as even as a stock right now, the pattern says it's just struggling. Yes, it's going to have a decent move at some point, but then that news comes filtering in again. So I'm just going to say, I'll tell you what I'm looking at, but I cannot in all good conscience just give you an entry point to say this is where I think it's, it's, it's good for more than anything 
other than a bounce. So here at 2291, giving back a chunk of the gain of the other day. I, you know, look at look at this Verizon, same thing. Whoops, we didn't type it over here. Let me do this just to see the two together. How maybe one's stronger than the other. Oh, it's even worse. Um, and I can, all I can say to you is that I think that I am looking for subscribers on the next pullback. Maybe we've already got it, but look at look at Chevron, and look at Exxon Mobil, which is not anywhere as good a chart pattern as Chevron. I think there's much, something much more substantial in going to the multinationals if you're looking for dividend. So that's not okay. what you asked me, but I I cannot help but kind of sidle over to the what is working rather than what is not working. And even there, that was a huge move in Exxon going from 68 down to the low of just five, four, five days ago in the 50, what is it, 53 area. I mean, here you are talking about a nice 65%, whatever it is, dividend, and it drops from 68 to 59. Um, it's trading right now at 61. So I think that... I'd rather be looking at a really good stock that has less mm -hmm. of a le less of a dividend, but there's a chance of capital appreciation and the dividend. So I mean, yeah. something I'm looking at. I don't know what a Cisco is doing in terms of dividend, but here's something. It has 5G. It has cybersecurity. It has a whole bunch of things. Subscription service. Yes, it's getting closer towards its most recent high, but at least I think it's in an area that is. It isn't vulnerable to the type of thing that something like an AT&T and Verizon are vulnerable to. So I, I right. just picked this one just because I think there's a dividend. It's small, but at least there's some dividend. But you get, and even if you had to go to, say, a Pfizer in a completely different area, holding well, uh, probably a little bit too close to all-time highs, but at least there's dividend and you've got capital gain. If you look at a Merck, which is not as good a chart pattern. It's had a huge move from 91 down to 40. It is 71 the other day. I'd say you've got to be selective, even in an area that can give you some capital appreciation, but at least has a dividend. So I'm just going to say to you, I'm going to I'm going to hold off saying anything here about telephone or Verizon in terms of buying if you're thinking of it as part of a dividend, and if you're yeah. thinking of it as part of just a stock. I wouldn't touch these right now because any bounce, I think, is subject to retesting the whole area of the last two weeks. Uh, I, yeah. I'm sorry, I wasn't. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was yep. watching it getting close to retesting the previous low we made a few days ago, so that's why I was kind of looking at it. As a trade, let's look at it together. If it, if it starts to get there, we'll look at it and say, hey, now maybe it's just a stock bounce. Okay, but at this point, let's be careful. Thank you for calling. Okay. Okay, we'll be back, folks. The Dow's down 121, S&P's down 24. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727 329 8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Well, folks, so during the break, uh, so, you know, the, you know, the den is such a wonderful medium. So, uh, and also Tiger, Tiger TV. Uh, so I, I, I was looking at, uh, we were speaking about the dividend stocks just a moment ago with Mike and Ormond Beach. And I, I do, I was going to about to add, and I thought, okay, we're kind of done with that, but actually not, not true. Johnson and Johnson was mentioned. That was one that I was uh, two of them that I was going to mention was Johnson and Johnson and Procter and Gamma. But although I hadn't actually looked at the charts for the last uh, week or so, Johnson and Johnson doing very nicely. I had 164 right in the middle of the range in the daily, but in the uh, in the lower part. And it's part of a dividends, healthcare, drugs. You, you know, it's it, this is an important stock. Uh, uh, Procter and Gamble. I couldn't believe it. All-time high, as we're speaking right now, at 152, up 23 cents. Dividend stock, and it's in the defense. All of these are in the defensive areas. Isn't that amazing? What a crazy! This market is so unusual in so many ways. Um, and then uh, 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 G7 in the den said, "What about GIS?" I said, "Oh, I hadn't even looked at General uh, General Mills." And General Mills, GIS. Look at this. At just off an all-time all high, well, not quite, yeah, well, close to an all-time high. At 6424, the all-time high was that peak C that was made back in June, uh, August of 2020 at 63.62. Um, so isn't, uh, I mean, no, it can't be 63, it would have been 60. Um, it, it's been covered right now. Yeah, wait a minute. Ah, 66.54. So is that interesting in the cup formation? These are really nice looking stocks. Yes, you're paying up, and they, but they're leaders in this particular time frame and this particular market. So I said, I, I, I thought I rec remember uh, that G General Mills was part of the generals that were in the Dow at some point. So I just quickly checked on it. There's a whole story I can give to that. Uh, and it says here, Category, former components of the Dow Industrials, historical components, uh, General Electric. Anybody remember a, company, a, little, a little baby company called General Electric that was t taken over from Walsh who managed to give earnings reports to the penny, within a penny for every quarter for years. I don't know how he did that. Anyway, and then email came in, and I remember I can even now picture the interview on CNBC where Walsh is there and email is there and email saying, I'm going to take this over and I'm going to continue your work and I'm going to turn this company, blah, 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 blah. And email, if ever there's, a, for, for the uh, Harvard uh, business uh, community, if ever there was a story that you wanted to have as an absolute perfect example of doing every single thing wrong, email is the guy. He's the one. Even bought, buying the General Electric building downtown on the wharf um, at the top of the market 
uh, pay overpaying for it so that they can move from Connecticut and cost a fortune to move, I think they've just sold it, to downtown to this fancy thing where uh, during the summer, or not just the summertime, when there is a huge storm, water goes into the new building or at least goes right up to the, the new building. So, I mean, that was the case. Anyway, enough with that. So, um, so, uh, so we've got General Mills was there. General Electric, General Foods, General Mills, General Motors, General Railway Signal that goes back about a year or two, about 100 years. Um, so what's really interesting is I believe it was General Foods. One year, 1984, maybe, 85. Um, I, I can't remember. It was, yeah, I think it was 80, somewhere in the 80s. Um, I got a cell signal. And the cell signal says that the market's coming down. I can't remember exactly when it was. I love Larry. Larry talks about, he says, uh, back in 1958, I think it was a Tuesday. Yeah, but it was about 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, oh, yeah. And Joe was there and, 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 th and Al. And, uh, and I'm saying to myself, how on earth does he remember all that? Anyway, so I, I'm thinking it was General Foods. <clears throat> I had a cell signal, and General Foods was talked about as a takeover. I'm, I'm almost sure it was General Foods. And the market just did not go down. It went sideways. All the stocks got hammered, but General Foods just kept it buoyant. Um, and that I learned years ago that you can have one or two stocks that can make or break a particular uh, sector or an index. We've seen that on the upside now. What? Five stocks have about 25% of the NASDAQ. Anyway, so that's the general story. Uh, and that's my general story about the generals. And now, of course, we, we, we don't have any generals in the market, <clears throat> in, the, in the Dow. Um, that's, that's the way things work. All right, enough with that. A quick couple of questions came in. Could I look at NVIDIA, NVDA, <coughs> NVDA? Trading down at 314. I have to tell you, although this market is acting so well, I think we are looking at the SMHs getting to the semiconductor index, which is also holding really well. It's only down two days, 310. 318 was all time high. Uh, back was around about the 22nd of November. It dropped to 290. That's you know, 30 points. It's uh, sorry, 20 points. It's about 8% correction. I'm waiting for us to start talking about the chip glut. But I'm listening, looking. I, I read last night about Subaru. Subaru is having a dearth of cars because they are the smallest of the Japanese companies. So they're way down on the totem pole. The biggies getting are getting the chips. Subaru is not getting the chips. Uh, this is going to be an interesting story. But so next, 2022 is the glut year for chips, I believe. Anyway, we're looking at this. And so that was the question with NVIDIA. I think it's starting to stall. It's been a leader. It's struggling now, but it's almost at all-time highs, but it's struggling to break out. Uh, yeah, so the reason why Subaru is having a good year and many of the companies are having a really good year is because they are overcharging by – I'm not overcharging. They are paying – they are having people buy the cars with very little choice, and they are adding whatever they can, and especially non-chip products. They're adding trim and this and that. So those cars are going for quite a few thousand dollars more than top dollar would have got without any discounts. And that's the reason they don't have to sell as many cars, but they're making more. That's, that's the way I believe it's going right now. All right. Let's get back to our story. It's enough babbling. Let's go on. So the question was, there was another one here. Uh, let me just see. Uh, yeah, okay. Neutron Jack, NVIDIA. Please discuss NVIDIA consolidation rectangle patterns since November. Uh, yeah, let me just do this one more time. NVD, because it is an important stock in the sector. NVIDIA. That, that there's almost like an island reversal and a gap up, but you can see how it's struggling now. You see the MACD's weak, stochastic's weak, everything's weak, but the nine hasn't yet turned down. <laughs> I think it's going to, and that says to me that this is a sector that might 
run out of upside energy and we might then start to see like we are seeing now some of the cyclicals in like the Dow type stocks do very well. If we could advance micro devices maybe making the bit of H right here. So I'm watching this very closely in the semiconductor. Uh, I think there was one that I forgot that was asked. Oh, G G E M. -E. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So let, me, let, me just, uh, let me just have a look at this. This said... Yeah, okay, so a couple of things I could get to, ARQQ, ARQQ, uh, we've got one, we've got, this is the last one before the sector, so this is the uh, uppercase A, Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down stock, and we did try it once, and then we were out of it, and we've just been looking, I was looking to try to get in, and then I said, I'm not happy with the pattern, and it went all the way from the 39, just about 40 area, and it's plummeted down, it's almost cut in half, it's at 22, uh, got, I have a, a small core position at 10.65. Uh, he's had 73% gain and a 69% gain. I'm looking at the 20 range for support. Yes, in this A pattern, what you want to look for is now at 22.80 ARQQ. This is Arcot Quantum Inc. I would be looking at a new entry because you've had such success. I don't want to mess with you. You've got it nailed down, Greg. I'm not going to. I'm not going to touch it. Other than to say, if you're asking me where support would be, based on the technicals, um, 
how it handles the 21 to 20 area is going to be absolutely imperative to watch. If it closes under 20 at any point, it just says any rally could just fail quickly to do even more testing. But if it, it pulls back, hits 21s, anywhere in the 21s, and then within two sessions closes above 22.80 to 23.10, says, ha ha. Now look at it as a perhaps the start of another bounce. Uh, a couple of other questions that I might have missed here. Let me just quickly look here. Uh, Sunbeam, yeah, yeah, we know that. Al Dunlop, we don't want to talk about him. He doesn't deserve it. Uh, yes. So just a couple of things. Uh, Cruz has been doing absolutely fantastically. This is Cruz, which is a Cirrus, Cirrus Logic. Oh, look at this, it's up $3 today. It was on our list today. I said, wow, should we get it? And I thought, I don't know. Look at this, it's up again. Beautiful move. In fact, tomorrow's Technical Friday. I want to talk about this. Is this a very good A? It's the way you can count it. Is that an A in cruise? And it's still going to go higher. Have a great day. I'll do the, uh, the uh, news update moment. And then I'll push the very close adventure. Go great.